Today I'm back to share some of my top tips on how you can create stunning slimline cards the easy way using some new decorative dies. So join me and we'll have some fun learning how to create these beautiful elegant cards the easy way. So the card we're going to be creating together today is a beautiful shaped card, absolutely stunning with a beautiful opening in the center. Um, so this is a special uh, launch that pairs beautifully with the slimline dies we launched in, on Black Friday of 2022. Um, so if you've got those, these pair beautifully. If you don't have those, these are absolutely stunning and will really expand and maximize your creativity for backgrounds and really become an essential uh, tool in your craft crafting box. Is it a craft box or your craft room, right? Okay, <laughs> uh, but there's so many variations. So this is the same uh, die that I'm going to be creating with today, but using it on a five by seven card. So not only are we going to be showing you how to create this beautiful slimline card, at the very end, I have so many samples in front of me that you'll see variations so you can use it many different ways on um, your card. So we have four different dies that come in this collection and you've got some sentiments that are super, super stunning. So let's get into uh, creating this beautiful one of a kind card and then taking a look at all the variations and how you can maximize your creativity with these dies. So with this one, this is die number one. This is called a slim, elegant rectangle die. It has eight pieces, eight pieces. That means you have lots of versatility in here for layering, dimension, all that fun stuff. Um, and when you look at it, you'll see uh, just some basic combinations of all those cuts in here. For die number two, um, we have the slim ornate rectangle die. This one has four pieces. So this is a little bit more of um, a one and done die, meaning you can just cut these bases and boom, 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 you have a beautiful card. I love the on your special day. You can see it cut apart here, or you can use it all together on some cards that I'll be showing you later. Um, and when you see this one, you'll see it on this card, you'll see kind of this opening um, in the center of this card flap. So that's just a great way um, to kind of showcase this. You can just add your flowers and you're done. And that's what I really, really love about these. This is the Eyelet Heart Rectangle Die and it has It's Your Birthday in it. Beautiful ways to uh, create with this one, very versatile as well. And then we have the Slim Gateway Rectangle Die. This one has two pieces in it, but when you um, use it all as one, all in one is absolutely amazing, but then you can cut it apart and do many different uh, variations. You've kind of got like a gate uh, piece in the center. You can uh, cut these apart, back them up together for like more of a doily accent. You kind of have a small gate in here. So um, the creative options with these are absolutely phenomenal. Um, so we're going to get started creating our card today and then we'll look at some beautiful examples that the design team members have created that will absolutely blow your socks off. It's so fun. Um, so to create the uh, card base that is shaped, you're going to run the largest die through your machine um, and making sure that the top blade is extended over the fold line. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and just pull off your tape after you've run that through your machine and you have your beautiful card base. Your next step is going to be um, using that same large outline die and cutting a beautiful piece of accent paper using this die and cutting, oops, this is not the right one. You're going to cut the largest die. You're going to use the largest die um, of this shape in the set, run that through. You can do these at the same time, um, which will work perfectly for you. So we'll lay this to the side and I am going to show you a cut that I think you'll absolutely love um, knowing uh, when you are creating this. So I use the largest one to do the top layer. This is the second size that we're going to use for the bottom layer. Um, so what I want you to do, just a very simple, easy way to do this, is you're going to go ahead and take your uh, decorative piece that you want for that second layer that goes underneath the first decorative layer and just glue it down. Just glue it into position pretty much in the center of this card. It doesn't have to be uh, uber specific um, or anything like that because this piece is going to go over the top and cover it. And um, then what I want you to do is just open this card base and you're going to go ahead, lay this piece on top, make sure everything is lined up and then we are going to position this die in the middle so we know exactly where to cut this at. Now it's a little bit hard to see 
um, where that is. Oops, let me grab some tape. I'm just gonna reuse this tape right here. Hopefully that will, yep, I think we're good with that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just make sure everything is lined up um, on the outer edge on the bottom right here. And then you can see how to position the center piece. So we'll go ahead and I'm just gonna come in from the sides and since you glued the um, decorative background piece to your card base, that will cut your card base and this decorative piece at the same time. Now, if you have a machine that's large, you can just keep this card panel open and run it through like that. If you don't have a machine that's large, what you can do is just flip this panel backward, run it through and cut it out like that so that um, you have some options depending on the machine that you have, or you could always do what I call a splice in your card a flap um, and run it through that way too. So you get to choose how you want to um, run that through your machine when you are creating a card base like that. So um, you can kind of figure that out based on the machine that you have. But that is a very easy way uh, to create an opening with a decorative paper layer on top. So hopefully that was a great tip for you um, with this specific die. And you can use that same tip technique with other dies that you might have. So we're just going to go ahead, um, bring this off and you have got that beautiful opening in your card. So your next step, you get to choose how you want to do it. I think this looks very beautiful with a layer that is, has foam dots. I'm just going to do four for the sake of time today. Uh, but you could always do, you know, obviously you want to add more in there. You could do some uh, strips as well, uh, like some foam strips to kind of strengthen that. Um, and you could even layer this piece onto like just a, the same like a cardstock layer so it's stiffer as well. Um, so that would also be an option for you too. So then you all you have to do is just line this up and you have this beautiful opening in the center of your card. Super, super easy, stunning, and that's a, just a great tip um, for you when you are creating your own at home. Next step, you're going to go ahead and add this beautiful decorative layered frame on top. I like to glue this down with the Dries Clear glue um, and just go over those decorative pieces and just add um, those down with the glue. Um, I like to use this with a fine tip because you can really get the glue precisely where you want it, super, super easy. Um, so this is just a great way to um, add those decorative dies. The glue is industrial strength so you don't have to worry about it moving around once it is dry. Just look at that. So imagine yourself, you know, maybe one evening you have maybe an hour, maybe you don't have a lot of time to just really sit there and do a lot of creating. Um, so maybe you just want to sit there and create a lot of card bases so that when you're ready, you can just go back, stamp your sentiment in the center, add a flower. You could do a simple flower or super dimensional. That is how easy these slim decorative rectangle dies work for you. So that's really what I want you to take away from this is how you can really use these versatility in the background to create that card base. Because you know how it is sometimes when you're like, oh, I have all these beautiful flowers, but how do I even begin to structure the background of my card that's simple yet just flows beautifully together? And that's what these um, beautiful decorative dies do for you. So that is something that's absolutely amazing and exquisite about that. So you can create, you know, a beautiful, just traditional slimline card with this, or you can switch it up and you too can do other sizes as well. You could even do this on an A2 size card for a panel. I think this just lends itself beautifully with the five by seven, um, card front panel as well. This is, um, these cards are featuring a lot of the floral basket paper collection. So super, super stunning in the background there. Um, so let's take a look at some more card samples. Are you ready? Um, so with this, I'm going to go die by die so that you can kind of see like all the versatility with just one die and how it was used in different ways. So with this one is your slim, elegant rectangle die. And then here's just some beautiful samples that were created with that. That's upside down. Here we go. I'm featuring that die in the background. You've got those tags. Um, you can do vellum layers. You can add those different uh, sentiments in the center. And if you use a lot of cardstock in the background, it'll automatically kind of raise those. And it is just so, so pretty. So as you can see, you can use it at background, use those tags um, to raise it in the middle. You can have these go up and down. You can have it go sideways. And just a beautiful way to use it is on those, um, 
on those backgrounds. You can use it as a side, just like as a beautiful easel card, which is so, so pretty. Ah, just love how these come together. So lots of variations from simple to a little bit more complex. And look at this. Here's a card where it was just pieced in the middle right here. You could put some things over the top or just, you know, you can leave it exposed. But that's how you can shorten that frame and use it for many different card sizes. And you'll also see that on this card as well. So you can turn it the other direction to make it be longer. You can really mix and match and just have some fun with that. Our second die is the Slim Ornate Rectangle Die. So again, um, this one you can use in many different ways. You've got that beautiful sentiment that you can use in a straight line, or you can cut it apart, stagger it, do some fun things with that. Um, so lots of variations on how you can really utilize um, this one um, to create those beautiful one-of-a-kind all-occasion cards. This one right here, um, I love how this has that beautiful decorative strip in the background, really highlights the sentiment, yet you have that decorative um, die on the outside edge, and this has a lot of dimension with cardstock in the back. So it's kind of like you're creating your own chipboard letters with the gold on top. And then I love the silver blue combination with sparkly blue letters in here, so pretty. And then this is a great example of just layering them on those letters on top of each other using beautiful background paper um, and just have that amazing beautiful card. So the um, third die that we have is the Slim Eyelet Heart Rectangle Die. Um, this one again, super, super stunning, absolutely unique, amazing how you can create all these different variations. And honestly, like this one, you can really also just cut it apart and use this as its own border um, on the bottom, the side, you can lengthen it. Um, and have lots of uh, beautiful ways you can work with that. And look how this, that opening was cut, this was 3D'd and pairing some of our Black Friday eyelet dies in the background. Uh, oh no, hang on, hang on. Let me take that back. There is an eyelet in this, in this one. So um, you can use that in the background. But um, if you wanna bring and mix and match some of your Black Friday dies with these, they will work perfectly together. And that's what I don't want you to miss with this. Beautiful shaker accent, like how stunning is that? So simple, um, but super, super stunning. And here again, this is a square card using a slim line die, okay? So this is just going around the edges. So kind of think about that when you are creating with this one. This is just a simple like layering with papers, adding that sentiment, you're done. So whether you want to do simple or advanced, you get to choose how you want to create with yours. And then last but not least, oh, oh, I wanna show you this one too. Here's one that is shortened with just using those borders on the top and bottom and then kind of having that eyelet go off the side and then layering that it's your birthday on top of each other. So don't just think straight lines like all the way across, you can really shorten and just have some fun with that. So. The Slim Gateway Rectangle Die. Remember how I said there's, you can use it as one piece, but you can cut it apart? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna show you how it was used as one piece, first of all. Here it is, rolled back. You've got your lilies in the center. It's just like, ta-da! Um, here it is with a happy birthday card. Um, lots and lots of variations. Um, I love how this one is just a stunning pink combination with all the glitter. And then you've got this beautiful, teal that makes that just pop. Now, here's where you're gonna be able to do, do different combinations of just using pieces, using it on smaller cards, um, using some of the other borders as a background. Um, so you can really mix and match. This one was just flipped with the top part of the die um, and then adding those beautiful florals in the background. So you get to choose how you want to maximize your creativity with these. Um, so I have added the links right underneath this video um, where you can purchase these four dies if you don't have them yet. So I invite you to get yours ordered so that you can get started creating and experiencing the joy of using these beautiful, ornate, decorative, slim uh, rectangle dies the easy way. Now, um, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure you do that so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thank you so much for joining me today, for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.